of Management Studies IGNU presents an audio book on the course MMPC 007 Business Communication for MBA program. Presenting Block 2 Oral Communication at Work Unit 5 Listening and Reading Skills Part 2. In Part 1, we have discussed Introduction meaning and importance of listening, types of listening, effective listening, characteristics of a good listener, process of listening, barriers to listening and overcoming barriers to listening. In part 2 we will discuss reading, reading skills, expanding vocabulary and summary. Reading we have four main language skills and these are listening, speaking, reading and writing. Reading is a third language skill. It is the process where we look at the text, for example, written symbols and these are converted into words which are then formed into sentences which gives a meaning. Reading can be loud or silent. There are three components of reading. These are first, Word recognition, second, comprehension, third, fluency. It is not essential that every time we read we identify all the words. Sometimes we decipher the meaning without even identifying all the words. For example, reading a messy handwriting. In such cases, the gist of the text can be understood. There are cases where we can identify the words but cannot make out the meaning of the same but are able to understand the text. This usually happens when we come across a new word. Reading is an important receptive skill. All three components of reading that is word recognition, comprehension and fluency helps in developing the reading skills. Fluency helps in reading smoothly. For fluent reading, a lot of practice is required. Continuous reading helps in developing fluency. Importance of reading. Reading helps us in receiving information and increases learning abilities. Reading helps in first, learning new things, second, discover new things, third, enriches vocabulary, fourth, access to different kinds of information across the globe, fifth, in being empathetic. Therefore, reading is one such skill which, if developed, helps both individually as well as professionally. In business communication, this forms an integral part. Reading reports, policies, organizational documents, etc., and interpreting them correctly helps the organization. Reading Skills There are two prominent skills required for effective reading, speed of reading and comprehension. Let us discuss these skills in detail. Reading Speed Speed of reading refers to the amount of text one can read in a single reading session. On the bars of the reading speed, we can create four categories which are as follows. First, scanning. Scanning is a reading method used to quickly locate specific information. When scanning, one may have a question in mind and read a section of the text to discover the solution disregarding irrelevant material. Scanning is the process of reading quickly in order to identify certain data. Scanning can be used in search to uncover specific information, to examine fact-heavy topics and to respond to questions that require factual evidence. The purpose of scanning is to find and focus on certain data, facts may be hidden within lengthy text portions that have little to do with your topic or claim. Scanning is a process that needs focus and can be exhausting. 
one may need to learn how to not let his or her concentration wander skimming skimming is the process of reading quickly in order to acquire a basic overview of the subject skimming reveals what broad information is contained inside a segment using a skimming to preview that is read before you read review that is read after you read and determine the core concept from a long selection you don't want to read or discover source information for a research paper for example one can skim through pages during preliminary review of books or reports skimming can reveal to readers much about the basic concepts and style of the text as well as its striking resemblance or contrast from other sources to determine if you should read it at all in order to skim through a text plan to go briskly through the pages if you want to skim one will not read every word instead she or he will focus on typographical signals such as headers bold text and italics text indenting bulleted and numbered lists one will be on the lookout for essential words and phrases names of places and people dates nouns and new terms third careful reading it is a slow form of reading wherein one can read between 50 to 350 words in a minute such a reading skill is essential for proof reading reviewing problem solving and memorizing fourth rapid reading it involves fast or rapid reading of the text where one can read between 300 to 600 words in a minute this type of reading skill is essential when one is not supposed to memorize the text or is not burdened by the pressure of reading comprehension reading comprehension is the capacity to comprehend what you read strong reading comprehension often entails a wide range of literacy abilities required to comprehend and discern meanings within a book several components of efficient reading comprehension include fluency the capacity to decipher foreign terminology and the use of context clues from the reading to identify significant parts of a book some important skills to improve reading comprehension are expansion of vocabulary fluency of language decoding drawing inferences and retention now let us discuss these one by one first fluency fluency refers to a combination of elements first it assesses your ability to read properly and fluently fluency is also concerned with your capacity to swiftly interpret new words while reading fluency refers to how it feels to read and it has a direct influence on your ability to grasp what you read for instance if an individual's reading skills improve she or he will be able to rapidly uncover meaning of what she or he has said or read which in turn will aid in comprehension of the material second expanding vocabulary knowing the meaning of different words and when to use them is a key component of being an effective reader increasing your vocabulary is a simple approach to enhance your reading skills a vast vocabulary may assist you in selecting the appropriate term or phrase for the circumstances which can allow one to grasp different kinds of text with their context you can improve your capacity to generate assumptions create thoughts and grasp the texts you read if you can swiftly interpret new meanings and find links between new terminology and familiar concepts third decoding decoding is a talent that requires you to identify the words one may have heard before but have never seen them written it is based on vocabulary knowledge 
or the capacity to hear individual sounds in words and relate them to alphabets. Making the link between an alphabet or a set of alphabets and the sounds they produce is an important step in decoding words. Fourth, inference. Inference is an important aspect of reading comprehension. When one creates inferences, she or he relates information from texts to his or her own thoughts and beliefs which helps him or her understand what she or he read. For example, if you read an article on polymers in the reverse, you could conclude that in order to limit the quantity of mycoplastic, you should recycle. Inferring occurs when we read a text in which the aim and meaning are not explicitly expressed. Furthermore, the capacity to link concepts and draw conclusions might aid with retention. Fifth, retention. Reading comprehension is generally concerned with memorizing what you read. The retention of knowledge is the foundation of comprehension. One may improve their reading comprehension by practicing summarizing and recalling what she or he have read. Expanding Vocabulary Vocabulary is one of the essential skills for effective reading. A vast vocabulary may assist a reader in selecting the appropriate term or phrase for the occasion and can easily communicate his or her message. There are several advantages of strengthening the vocabulary which are listed as follows. First, clarity in concepts while reading. Second, ease in comprehensions. Third, better engagement with audience. Fourth, depicts expertise in the field. Therefore, one should try and improve their vocabulary by adopting certain practices. These practices are described as follows. First, discover the origins of words. It helps in building a strong foundation of vocabulary. This will also help in better memorization of the word. Second, concentrate on practical concepts round the word. Certain words are used in some specific situations. For instance, use of technical jargon in a particular industry. One should focus on incorporating such jargons in their vocabulary, especially if they belong to a particular industry. Third, linking of words. Creating a link of a specific word to a synonym can help one remember it easily. Also, creating a chain of such links in a sequence will make one understand and remember the meaning and context of the words as well. Fourth, vocabulary tests. Take quizzes and trivia available on internet or mobile applications to improve vocabulary. It will be an innovative way of revising a learning vocabulary. Fifth, word awareness. One should be aware of the words she or he may read. One may skip the word she or he may fail to understand while reading. Therefore, it is a good practice to look in the dictionary for any word which one has encountered for the first time and make a note of the same. Sixth, creating a group of words. One may not just remember or learn a word, but also its synonym or related words. Seventh, contextual meaning. One should also learn about the different contexts in which a single word can be used. Eighth, read. The easiest way to expand the vocabulary is to read more. It is a good practice to have fixed reading time daily and focus on use of words along with the context. Summary 
This unit covers different aspects of listening and reading along with highlighting their importance in business communication. There are different types of listening such as biased, sympathetic, empathetic, critical, informational, appreciative, selective and rapid listening. Moreover, the unit emphasizes on the certain aspects of good listening, reduction in miscommunication, increment in productivity, increased confidence and reduction in time and efforts are some of them. Effective listening skills are crucial for business as well as personal communication. Concentration, language skills, body language and avoiding noise are some of the ways in which listening can become more effective. Furthermore, an effective listener needs to have a strong personality and have verbal competence along with the hearing ability. She or he should also have a certain level of intelligence and motivation to listen to the speaker. Process of listening has five stages, namely identification, reception, comprehension, retention and response. However, there are certain barriers to this process such as selective listening, speed of speech, speed of thought, lack of interest, reaction to speaker, beliefs and attitudes and external distractions. In this unit, one also learned about the ways in which she or he can overcome these barriers. Reading is also an essential element of communication. Reading is mainly related to verbal communication. It involves not just mere look at the written text, but also comprehending the written segment along with its context. A reader must develop critical reading skills to grasp the written text in its true sense. Critical reading skills can be divided into two sets, namely reading speed and reading comprehension, which can be classified further. You are listening to audiobook by School of Management Studies, IGNO, for MBA program. Course code MMPC 007, Business Communication. Block 2, Oral Communication at Work. Unit 5, Listening and Reading Skills. Part 2. Course Coordinator, Professor Neeti Agrawal from School of Management Studies, IGNO. Voice over by Santosh Bharti. Edited by Taranam Jaha. Program assisted by Jagbandhu Jana. And program produced by Manoj Kumar Singh. This program was brought to you by Electronic Media Production Center of Indira Gandhi National Open University.